driver trainer that was tailgating me. Wow, he was right behind me. I was like, why is this taxi tailgating me so much? <laughs> you know, that's the guy that trains all the drivers. That makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of sense. Good morning, internet. What a wonderful day and a great place for us to meet here. On the internet from coast to coast to coast here in Canada and across the world. You guys are in almost every region. I think you guys together are across the entire world on every continent. Pretty cool. Modern technology is amazing that I can speak here and talk to you about driver trainers that are <laughs> tailgating. And about this guy who's got half of his trailer tail out, the other half folded in because I'm pretty sure that's how it works best. And I can show you all these funny things from here in Manitoba, in Canada, and you can laugh along with me all across the world. Look at this guy. He has no idea the whole world's laughing at him right now. <laughs> or maybe we're laughing along with him because that doesn't sound as mean. We'll laugh along with him. I'm sure he would laugh if he knew. How do you not know that though? Because you have to unfold it. So he literally came back here and unfolded half of it and left the other half folded in. I'm gonna go past him. I gotta see who this guy is. Hey, come here, come here. Don't run away from me. Don't run away from me. Oh, he's running. He's running. Oh, it looks like it's broken. Oh boy, yeah. All right, well, he's not gonna let me get past him. I'm not gonna sneak back in here behind him and slow down a bit, let him get some space between us. Huh. So yes, good morning. That's a very nice Peterbilt over there. Very nice Peter. I like it that it matches his trailer. Very nice. So I'm going up to Toulon. My phone is dinging away here because I'm driving. As soon as I stop, no one wants to talk to me. Everyone wants to talk to me at the same time when I'm driving. And they gotta wait. We gotta go an hour north, grab something in Toulon, go an hour further north to Arburg, grab something else there, and then come two hours back, and that should be the day. And it's Friday, the best day. See, it's dinging away. It won't stop dinging now that I'm driving. Tempting though, isn't it? Don't do it. Don't do it. Looks like we'll be following Mr. Tractor. That is wonderful. Wonderful. That's why everyone's been going so slow. This guy in front of us is a paramedic. He's got a paramedic plate. You can get all kinds of different custom license plates uh, in Manitoba. I've got a Winnipeg Jets license plate on my pickup and on my uh, motorcycle. On the terrain, it's just a, a regular Manitoba plate. Sort of like what these guys have here that's the most common. That's just the default. You can also get a uh, snow pass for people who like to snowmobile. Uh, you can get a Winnipeg Gold Eyes, which is our baseball team. You can get a plate for that. You can get a, a basketball plate, I think Winnipeg Cyclones. Uh, you don't see those very often. You see the Jets plates the most often. Uh, you can get a, a firefighter license plate. If you're a firefighter, you can get a red license plate. That lets you know people around you know that hey this guy in this vehicle is a firefighter so you always know firefighters are first responders so if you have trouble you can always run to them and just like the plate we saw there if you're a paramedic you can get a customized license plate as well again for the same reason so that uh, if you're having a medical emergency and you see someone with a license plate that says that says paramedic on it you can run to them ask for help There's all kinds of different license plates. You can get a whole bunch of different ones. You can also get a Winnipeg Humane Society customized license plate that shows uh, everybody you like animals. I don't know if there's a farmer license plate, but if there is, this guy should get one. He's definitely a farmer. Driving right down the middle of the road. 15 miles an hour. 
Please don't turn left. I'm turning left. See, I got my signal on first. I was first. Please don't turn left. Go straight. What do you guys think? Is he going to go straight? Is he going to go straight? We're going left, so I really hope he doesn't go that way. Oh, he saw me. He just looked around and saw me here. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, he did it. Doesn't listen very well, does he? He's gonna let us pass though. I gotta wait for that truck coming though, the oncoming traffic. And then we'll blow his doors off, how about that? Cause I'm a highway tractor, I belong on the highway. Oh, this is one of our trucks, I think. Yeah, it's definitely one of our trucks. There we go.
because I've gotten lucky so far. Either that or I'm going blind. In which case, that could be a problem. If I'm not seeing the deer that are there. Uh, I don't know. I do have a trailer behind me that's three, two thirds, three quarter or two thirds full. I think we're going to put one more piece on it when we get back to the yard. And this trailer is going to Colorado and uh, Utah in that area of the United States. Me, I'm going home for the weekend. I've got things to do. I've got a deck to build. I want to get that deck finished this weekend. That's my goal. I'm not really doing anything fancy with it. All I'm doing is uh, I'm uh, replacing everything and raising it up half an inch. But it's exactly the same frame. It's just going to be all nice treated wood now instead of just random cheapy wood. You'll see, you'll see, I'll show you, I'll, I'll show you tomorrow, it's gonna be great. It is a beautiful day. It's gonna be a beautiful weekend. And there's a beautiful bike, if I do say so myself. Though she's dirty, and uh, I'm gonna give her a quick bull snot once over before I, before I leave here. I gotta go past everybody in the office over there, unless they've all left early for uh, the weekend already. It's always a rush to get out of here on a Friday like this. Everyone wants to get to the beach, get to the lake, get home, whatever you're gonna do, barbecue. It's Friday, you get it. So before I roll past her, I gotta make sure she's uh, up to the bull snot standard. So let's see what we got going on here. See how dirty she's gotten over the week? Cause I, I use her uh, quite a bit during the week. I put almost a thousand miles on it already. And you can tell it's just got some dust on it. I'm just gonna quickly give her a little a little shine then we're gonna ride home and take the long way home go around on the trans canada it's about 15 minutes longer but uh it's a four lane divided that whole way instead of taking the two lane and if i have a choice and if i have the time i prefer to take the four lane on the bike just uh just because, just because. plus it's the long way it's a longer ride then obviously longer ride equals a better ride so I've used the visible here, glass cleaner. The bugs just melt off. I sprayed it on there. You're supposed to let it sit for about 20 to 30 seconds. I usually let it sit for about a minute. Get a good amount on there and then, look at that, those bugs just, just melt right off. Looking much better. 9,840 miles. We're gonna hit 10,000 in the next couple of days, probably next week. Putting on at least 60 per day going here and back from work. Or uh, if I take the long way like I am now, that's about 75 miles a day at least. I bought the bike, remember, with 8,912 uh, miles, not kilometers, miles on it. So uh, we've got about 1,400 kilometers at least on it. 900, 900 miles, 1500 kilometers, and I've enjoyed every single last one of them. All right, I gave her a quick little shine. Uh, she needs a little bit more work. I'm going to do that this weekend at home, but at least now, when I drive past everybody up front there, uh, as long as I don't stop and let them get too close, they won't notice the little bit of dust I have on it. It'll just look like a clean bike rolling past. Oh, oh. Needs a needs a little bit better attention, but I want to go home. So there we go. Good enough. Good enough. All right, everybody. I want a status report. Diesel. I need to know, Commander. I want the report on my desk ASAP. Who missed me the most? Okay. Was it you, Chef? Was it you, Diesel? Wiener? Commander, was it you? Be honest. Don't be a tough guy. Did you miss me the most? <laughs> Oh, did the frog miss me the most? Diesel, why is this guy in here? Leave him in here. He's not going outside right now. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's go outside. Okay, guys. Come on. In the yard. Come on. Come on. Let's go. I haven't even emptied the bike yet. Nothing. Get in the yard, guys. Come on. 
we can talk about uh can talk about my motorcycle later. It's a very fancy bike, man. Here, now where are your pedals? He's almost a saw a bird or a squirrel. Chevy. You want to ride on my motorcycle? Wouldn't that be cool? I never did get my answer. Who misses me the most when I'm gone? I don't think it's either of you. You guys could care less. Hurts my feelings, you know. Hey. Diesel, is it you? Could be, it could be. It also could be the golden boy. Where is he? Where is he? Ooh. He's right here, Chevy. Tell me, tell me. Answer me this, riddle me this. <clears throat> is it you that misses me the most? Be honest. Blink if it was you. I'll give you a second. Think about it. Do you never blink? It wasn't you, was it? Was it Diesel? Was it Diesel? I guess it was Diesel. <laughs> Why don't you blink, man? <laughs> Looked like you were trying to, but it, it had to be a full close for it to, for it to count. What are you talking about, Dale? I was having a nap. It was a very good nap until you came here with all your questions. I'm not picking favorites. I guess that makes the winner. Diesel Weasel. Was it you? Wag your tail if it was you. Was it you? Are you a good boy? No? Well, come on. Somebody has to miss me when I'm gone. Don't miss me when I'm gone? Fine. I miss you guys. Thanks for watching today, everybody. I lost some footage again today. So uh, there was a few parts missing, but I think there was a, some sort of a, a storyline, consistent storyline there, unlike yesterday, where my whole storyline was sort of uh, stolen by the internet somehow. <laughs> Thanks for watching today. Uh, we're going to make another video this weekend. We're going to talk more about this deck. You can see over there that, uh, here, I'll go over here where you can see it. We've made some progress, and I'm hoping to get some really good progress done today yet, but uh, over here, see? We started to lay the boards down on top. I've got this section here right done. So I'm going to start putting those down. We'll see you tomorrow. I hope you're having a great weekend.